Shalom Israel! My name is James and welcome to another Eurovision Reaction video. And today, I'm going to review the Israeli entry for the Eurovision Song Contest 2022 which will take place this May at Turin, Italy. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get to it and start reacting! The name of the act is Michael Ben David or Michael Ben David. Uh, he is the winner of the most recent season of The X Factor Israel. The X Factor acted as Israel's national artist selection for Eurovision, for which uh, they used the, the format of the show in determining the artist that the, the country is going to send to Italy. And they have a separate uh, national selection in choosing their song, which may, which was which was integrated as part of the main show. Hashir uh, Shalen No Le Eurovision is their is, is was which which used to be the national song selection program in the past couple of years in Israel has been reformatted and revamped into as into a Eurovision theme episode of the X Factor Israel. In that particular episode, the four the four remaining artists in the running to represent Israel were given two songs for which voters uh, had to choose which song that the artist will will bring to the final of the X Factor and on finale night Michael st stood triumphant in it in a very close race to the top for which Michael won in within just with only just a few points ahead of his closest um, competitor. So he's going to Israel with the song I Am and before anything else, here's a look of his entry. I was able to watch uh, Michael's performance the week before uh, af when clips of his, of their of the performances were released on YouTube. Uh, I really did not expect the <coughs> I really did not expect the twist that would come my way within just ten seconds of of hearing the song for the first time. Uh, I thought when this when this when the song started, it started very jazzy, swing jazzy. But suddenly, the song uh, "Time Travel" to the 1990s, where it started to st to sound a little bit voguish, or or something that you would hear in a lot of fashion shows during that particular era of music, which I don't really mind because that's my decade. I was born in the 90s, so I really love the so a lot of the songs that came out from that period, especially those in the genre of dance. Love the performance. It's it's, there's a lot going on, but my eyes kept tuning into Michael because he he, he is very confident with his performance. You won't see any tinge of nerves in any part of uh, of the whole the whole live performance. He he exudes charisma. He exudes confidence, and yeah, he really owned the stage during that three minutes. He has a great voice and he really have the, the moves to really make the show work as a dance song. And yeah, it's you might say it's very similar to a couple of entries from Israel in the, the most recent past, but I think uh, this really set up on its own two feet despite the similarities. This is something that I think would really live it up the semi-final for which Israel is going to perform in. It's going to be interesting on how it would fare well because I don't think there's a, there's a chance of Israel going to not qualify to the final. As such, the strongest aspect of the whole of the, of the whole thing with I am is Michael himself. He has great stage, uh, stage presence, he has charisma as I've mentioned previously and he can carry the song all by himself even if he doesn't even if you take away all of these dancers, all of these backing singers, you can, I think as long as you have those qualities as a performer, I think you 
you should you should be all right uh, doing all the work because I don't think he treats it as something very um, something of a job but it's something that he is really passionate in I can see that he has that theatricality that musicality in him that makes him such a good performer and that's not to say that his other competitors were anything less than that because I re- was also very impressed with uh, some of the other perf- finalists when I watched their respective clips it was just a very close race If you, from what I've read it just it was only a margin of two or three points so it could it could have been any one of those top two so I'm really excited to see how this group will, on how history is going to sh- to make this work on the Eurovision stage so those are my thoughts. Let me know yours down in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more Eurovision content and more. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Paalam. Babush.